Hello paper crafters. I have a new collection for you. This is the Cherry Lynn Windows frame release that I've done. And the first one we're starting with is FRM140 and it is the frame die and it's called Fiona's Magic Window. And it's a big die. It's five and one eighths by four inch. And I'm going to bring up close so you can see how the details of the cut and how nicely that cuts and how beautifully um, that would make a card up as a front as a topper. And the next one in the release is frame 141, FRM 141. And this is called window A and it cuts out this window right here. And the next one is frame 142, and it is window B. And these windows, this one's 4 and 1 eighths by 2 and 5 eighths. The one previous to that was 4 inches by 3 inches. And you can see it cuts out this elegant kind of lots of paned window. And I'll just flip it over so you get an idea of what that looks like. I didn't flip the other one over for you. I'll bring that back and you can compare them. And see that one has that elegant top and this is, this is more plain. And then the last one is frame 143. And it is called window C, 4 and 1 8 by 2 and 5 8 and I'll flip it over and you can see there and just how pretty and beautiful these windows are. Windows are always popular dies because there's so much you can do with them. Just not windows for home but windows to look into a scene, windows to look out of a scene or as you'll see uh, creative things you can do with them. I had Patricia Gale do this release and she did a wonderful job I am going to start off with this project to show you this lovely card with the window. And she used the Cherry Lynn Frame 142, and that's this one right here, how it cuts out so you can see that. I'm just going to pan out a little bit. There we go. Perfect. And then uh, she also used Marianne Creatables LR0157. And that's this elegant little um, filigree there. And we've seen those before in lots of cards. And then she also used FLP018, the butterfly punch. And that's this little guy right here. And I'm just gonna bring that up close so you can see how dimensional those little um, Nelly Snellen punches are. They create such gorgeous images, whether it's the florals or the butterfly sets that she made or the leaves. And then Quick Cuts, um, it's KS0454, it, that's the little bride and groom, that's a Quick Cut set. And I do still sell Lifestyle Crafts, so I'm not sure if that's still, if it's still on their site, I can special order it for you. If you don't see that little die there, if you type in Bride and Groom and don't see it, it's a two by two, then I can't get it and order it. But if it's still there, I can. And then she used the Martha Stewart punch right here. That's the Loops punch set. And she also used it inside the card. I want to open that up and show the loveliness of the inside of this card too. And around the, it's and around the, um, all around the frame punches that Martha has. And it says, "Wishing you happiness today and always." In this lovely rose parchment sentiment there. And then that gets us into the um, heartfelt creations. Um, this is. Right over here is the Mystic Hideaway pre-cut stamp that's behind the window and it's HCPC3445 and then there's the uh, Feather Grass Flourish pre-cut stamp set and the Bella Rose pre-cut stamp set. This is one of the Bella Rose ones, I know that. It's HCPC3401. And this sentiment must be the HCPC3435. I do carry Heartfelt Creations products, so I, I should have those in stock or I can order for you them order them for you if it wasn't one I carried. I don't remember carrying this stamp, but I can always order it for you. 
and then the just the different cardstock and what she wanted to point out and tell people was the lace under the heart she made by gathering a three by four inch strip of three quarter inch wide white lace on a piece of silver wire so that's that piece right there and by gathering it it created that kind of like that little filigree pattern that is around the heart she said to notice that the I do those teals uh, she took the squares that were left over from cutting out the window that's a clever thing um, and then the silver piece under the lace is an, an earring she got uh, in, a, in like a, the jewelry part of the store and she put a pearl in the center and then she used these little um, she said that you can get these in the costume uh, like in the wedding section of uh, Michaels and stuff they're little favors and she added that with the ribbon to the card so again please visit my my designers because they'll answer more questions and have a nice solid picture for you to look at a very well taken photograph um, for you to look at on their blog and they can also answer any questions you may have I'm gonna go on to the next card this is gonna be a bit of a video so I hope you all have the time to watch and uh, enjoy this is the second one I'm gonna pan out a little bit because this is a nice big card oh, maybe even a little bit more there we go and this card has the uh, kind of a religious church feel to it with the doors and she said that it looked like a cathedral door to her so that's how she chose to do it and this is window C that we're selling today and that's how it cuts out isn't that pretty beautiful and then um, spell binders she used labels 10 and also the spell binders crosses to die and I can get spell binders for you now so anybody who needs me to special order them I only special order spell binders I won't carry them but I certainly can get them and here are the labels and there's the cross in case you were wondering and look how beautiful that card is when you open it up isn't that pretty and I want to point out something else too this is see-through this this uh, she cut out the two windows and inserted plastic in between that she colored with gallery glass and it's um, it's transparent which is so sweet it makes it have a real feel to it and then she had um, quick cuts these little dies the um, dove branch and the dove those are quick cuts dies and again if they're on the blog I can get them for you and this scales of this roof is a fixtures text texture plate in case any of you are wondering about that and the stamps cast all your cares is a just right um, stamp set and as you know I do care carry all the just right stampers that are still in on their site I can special order I usually do an order a month from that company I do love them I love their stamps and these beautiful pine trees I was wondering who made those that's made by impression obsession um, and it's number CC-101 and so I just want to draw attention and she added some lace there and she said these that these bags are clear cello bags and she covered it with gallery glass paints she used five different colors to get that effect of that transparency I don't know if I can get it to show any kind of up close see if you can see my fingers moving through the back of that and how pretty that is and she said Patricia's little notes to us are she cut two of the windows out of the textured white Cricut paper leaving plenty of room around the edges for trimming purposes and for the inside of the card and then she scored and folded a 12 by 6 card so that it had the two three inch front flaps to make the, the trifold card and she cut a window out of each flap and I don't want to confuse you because I did say Cricut it's paper she used the Cricut paper Cricut does have paper some people don't realize that and then she cut the clear bag into two pieces and she taped them to a glass cutting mat so they remain taut and smooth and taping it to a mat to the mat allowed her to see the other side of the gallery glass designs 
And then she played artist with the gallery glass paint and mingled all the colors, set aside and let dry overnight. And then she cut another bag into two pieces and placed them on top and glued and sandwiched them together and trimmed them down to form the front flaps of the card. So I guess there's a clear piece on top of there too to give it, um, to protect maybe that gallery glass so it doesn't chip off or flake off. I'm not sure. That's something we can ask Pat. And she said she then glued the stained glass units to the inside of the flaps and overlaid them with the other two windows and trimmed the out the um, in the black satin ribbon to give the edges a finished look. Um, that's the the black satin there ribbon that she used. It's very fine to see. Then she wrote, phew, um, it was very time consuming but a whole lot of fun and she loved the look of the stained glass. She used a black tuxedo ink dauber to shade the roof and to give a little added interest and dimension to the doves also right here. And then she said the inside center is just a piece of mottled lavender paper that she used and she stamped it with the pine trees once for the dark trees and then what wink was left for the light left of the stamp um, to give those kind of shadows you can see there. It worked out really great and everything else is fairly self-explanatory she said. So again these are to give you ideas what to do when you get these cards um, get not the cards get these dies at home. All right next card right here is this beautiful card and I'll let you look at that I'm gonna zoom in a little zoom in a little bit to get a better picture and she used the Cherry Lynn frame 141 that's window A and it's right here it doesn't look like the window and we'll go over that she used Nellie Snellen floral punch jumbo 009 and it took me a while. I was trying to find I said, did she make these flowers? Then I realized it's the negative in this paper. That was the jumbo punch and it looks like hearts and she used it there instead of making a flower. And she used Spellbinders LF251. It's the Grand Caliber Big Dyes Scalloped Ovals and that's what you see in the background here. That's that. And again, I can order those, special pre-order those for you. And she used a Cottage Cuts bird cage with stand. And here's some news for some of you who've been following me for a while. You have been asking me for years to get cottage cuts uh, dies and I have tried and tried and the company um, I just never got answers from them and I can get them now. I can't get all of them. I, I, I'm getting them um, from a friend and I can try my best to special order what I can from you, but feel free to contact me with your cottage cuts once and I'll see what I can do. I think it'll be more that I'll be getting um, the newer dies in easier than the old releases. So I hope that helps. But that little window is a cottage cuts and cottage cuts are such cute little dies. And then I wanted to just go that she cut out, how she did this was she cut out two of window A's and she cut off the bottom portion of the window and just used the top and she um, glued them together to form the doily and that's a really clever idea and you can't see the seam because she ran this ribbon through it and then she um, cut out this part of the um, spellbinders die uh, around that pink cardstock she had because this isn't added on to it this is cut out from it so in other words after she had the the the, the pieces together she cut out this to make that kind of a doily so she made her own doily and the peach organza flower she made by pulling the wire on one edge of a ribbon causing it to gather and rolling it into a shape of a rose and gluing it down and the small three pink roses are nestled in the Nellie Snellen punch which I pointed out before so you can just see what a beautiful beautiful card that is I love the little birds right here just chirping around there 
And the next card that we have is this beauty right here. And this is called, um, this was using the Cherry Lynn Frangs. We use two Cherry Lynn windows here. She used the top of frame 141 here and the bottom of frame 142 there. And the also she used the Mary Ann Creatables LRO 226 and 227. And that's these filigree here that right here those are new ones that I don't have don't be looking for those and frantically searching my site I don't have those out yet with it I have them out with the demonstrator actually they're on the mail um, on their way to me as as I videotape this so they should be out soon and then but I do have them if you want it and there's also Mary Ann's creatable LRO 157 and that's this one and that one and I we looked at those before and memory box the fern and that's this one right here it's nine eight three four one i do not have that one in stock uh and then nelly snellen floral punches two three nine and twenty and that's this right here and you can see the two the three the nine and the twenty the graduated sizes increase and here is probably more of just the small and the um, medium punch used together here and then she used the rose leaf and that's the rose leaf punch and isn't that pretty how those punch out dimensional and the rose leaf jumbo punch oh this might be the jumbo and this might be the smaller one and those have already been released and I do have those for you if you'd like and she also used the Martha Stewart French scroll punch and that's that right there and she also used the quick cuts nesting scallop circles it's an old six piece set cc slash zero 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 five and that's how she got the border of she cut this out and then remember this is two parts she cut this out added it to this window frame but this edge because if let me see i'll make more sense if i show it to you the edge of this die is perfectly um round here and you can see hers has got this scalloped edge and that's because she took the quick cuts die and imposed it and cut it again and got it to cut this frilly edge around the edge of it so that was very clever to do and then she said that she cut the window a out of white cardstock and then placed the largest of the scallop circles the cutter over the window a allowing for the border and cut that out and then she trimmed out off the panes and added the other panes to the other window because my guess is she wanted to get that seam from that rubber stamp in there and that's an Inca Dinka Do stamp if anybody's wondering it's called Garden Gazebo Wood Stamp and there's some beautiful flower soft in there too I don't know if you can see that I'll bring it up close so you can see how pretty the scene is and then also you can see how those cuts how nice they are and how beautifully that window cuts out very very nice so uh, she also said for tips that um, the purple is just she gathered the three-quarter purple organza ribbon on a wire and glued it to the top of the window following the scalloped edges so she just added um, that after gathering it a bit she glued it along the ruffles of the window that she made and she just made this lovely card and she had the lace to look like a curtain and everything and little pearls on there beautiful card now we're going to go on to the next one i told you this would be a long video and i apologize but it's very beautiful and i think you will enjoy it so here is this beautiful card and let's see i gotta get my instructions out here Patricia typed everything out for me so I can easily let you know what what things are this is the Cherry Lynn frame 140 Fiona's magic window and I'm gonna bring this up closely to you so you can see how beautiful that frame cuts and all the little details in it isn't that pretty don't you just love that okay and there is a mirror there see oh, my hands they're reflecting themselves so it's a beautiful beautiful um, card 
and she used Marianne Creatables LRO 168 and 169. That's this floral right there, and that is a very pretty floral. I'll show you that up close. And then she uses um, the LRO 226, that's Anja's Leaves, right here. I'll tilt that a little bit. Those haven't come out yet, but they are in stock. And Spellbinders Grand Labels 23, that's these, I would imagine. And Spellbinders Petite Ovals, Large and Small, and that's those um, to cut out the ovals. And again, I can order the Spellbinders for you. And I'll just want to show you inside that the Spellbinders was there too. It says, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Then I gazed and I began to see the fairest looking back at me. Sweet sentiment. Be nice for a little girl. And so let's see. She said that when using craft mirrors, always cover the edges with a protective coating of some sort to prevent cuts and help minimize breakage. She prefers to use the metal foil tape that is used for cutting um, edge glass when doing stained glass projects, and she finds this works exceptionally well and looks great when burnished. It can be purchased at Hobby Lobby or any of your other craft stores. And then she also said that um, she used the Spellbinders Petite Oval to cut an oval in the center in the middle of Fiona's magic window and overlaid the mirror and embellished it, the oval edge with tiny pearls to give it a much more finished look. And I was looking, I think those pearls were hand put on. I don't think that's one of those um, kind of uh, sets you have pre-made because they're not as even and as perfect as that is. And then the white lace was a strip about three by four inches that she gathered and may put onto the edge of there and it makes a great embellishment and it's really simple to do beautiful card that that's just a lovely lovely card and then i have my favorite card for last and you'll see why it's my favorite i think some of you may already be recognizing why this is my favorite i'm going to bring it closer and closer can you see that little you see this little guy right here everybody know who that is yeah, that's Bud. That's Buddy. Um, she's, Patricia had a picture of Bud and she made this card just for me and I'm going to share it with you because she did a great job. And it is scrapbook page for Buddy and it's window frame A. Here's the edges. And then there's the Fanciful Flourish, which is Cherry Lynn B117. And the Fanciful Flourish is, I believe, is some of these leaves that are in here and then there is the olive branch which is this one right here that is cherry lynn b147 and then we have nelly snellen flp 008 a branch two punch and i believe that's this one right here and then we have nelly snellen um l c dash c dash 005 the nesting scallop circles it's an old die set that she said that she had and that might be how she put the scallops on these windows here and then there is um, the this is a Sizzix Sizzlet this cute little teddy bear here and the Fiskers punch around the page is this right here if you're looking what that is it's the one that's called lace and lattice and the speech bubble is a quick cuts um, die RS0543 and it, buddy's saying where's the shipment uh, probably waiting for the UPS man or the FedEx or the postman who might have a biscuit for him and the memory box um, tender leaves which I do believe are, are these this one poking out here a um, lot of green leaves in there and it's a little hard for me to distinguish off the top of my head I'm trying to do that but if you have any questions because there's a specific one you want just either email me and I'll do my best to try to ask Pat which it is you like but what she did is she cut four of the cherry Lynn window A's from white cardstock and four of the lifestyle craft scallop cir circles from peach cardstock and set the peach cutouts aside. 
she placed the largest of the scallop circle dies over the window A and cut out, allowing for a small border, and then cut that. And then she backed the die into the peach cutout, allowing for a small border. She backed the die with the peach cutouts, matching up the scallops, and trimmed off the panes and everything below the arch portion of the window. She glued them together and positioned them to form a frame and added Mr. Buddy to the center. He's so sweet in this picture, she said. And yes, he is. And she cut the flowers from scraps of paper so they would match. And she said that she hopes Buddy will forgive her because she knows peachy pink isn't really a manly color, but since it made him look so beautiful in the card, she didn't think he'd mind. Buddy doesn't mind anything. He'll carry around a little bear with a dress. Of course, it embarrasses my husband, but Buddy doesn't mind anything. He's just the love. So I will treasure this always. Thank you, Patricia. I don't, I don't even know how to begin to thank you. And if that wasn't enough, if all of this wasn't enough, and I know you're probably restless at this point, but I have to show you one more thing that Patricia made for my dad. It came in this lovely envelope, and it's not related to this release, so you can leave now if you're not interested. But this was a, something she made my dad that I'm getting go to Michael's and frame it so he can hang it on his wall. But dad is a um, veteran of three wars. He served um, his country and started in the Navy for World War One, and then went into um, the Army after the war and then did the other two wars, Korea and Vietnam. So dad is a longtime career military man, retired at the ripe old age of 40. He was a CID agent, lots of things he was. It was amazing, amazing career, amazing story of his life. But um, she made this for him and it's just so gorgeous. And again, Patricia, thank you. I, I don't even know, I don't know how to thank you. I don't know how to thank a lot of my design team members for all the sweetness and kindness they give me. I am truly blessed to have found these women. So um, just thought I'd share that with you because it's so worth seeing. Um, it's just beautiful. Dad will treasure it, and people in his room that come in and look at it will be amazed as well. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day, and thank you for watching, and thanks for letting me take so much of your time. If you'd like these dies, please visit my blog, and the ordering information is there as well as the prices. Bye-bye.